just me and my guitar. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is DJ. Today I got a quick video for you guys. In the past couple of weeks, there's been some changes in the Google Play Store for the Android TV OS. They removed the downloader app and also the Puffin browser. It's still available into the, in the Play Store. Um, if you already have it installed and you disabled auto update, it probably will still be working fine. For, but for everybody else that automatically apps update or if you just download from the Play Store, you will find out that you're not able to download anything from there. Now that was per request from Google. They asked them to remove that function just to make things harder for people to sideload apps. But as we all know, there's always going to be a fix, a different way. And in this video, I will show you what I use and how I sideload my apps. Now before we begin, if you are new to my channel, at the end of this video, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Let YouTube know you like what I do here and helps my channel grow. Also click on the subscribe button and on the little bell icon to get notifications of any new videos that I upload. Now let's get started. Now the app that I use to initially install apps that I want on my device, let's say like Downloader or Puffin Browser, ES File Explorer, or any other app that I want to install and sideload on my device, it's called Explore File Manager. It's available through the Play Store. To get that, you just go over here where it says apps, click on there, get more apps. And then we're going to go up to the search box, click on there. And in here, all you need to type in is the letter X and press enter. And it will be your first one. Now for me, it says open because it's already installed. For you, we'll say install. You click on install. And once it's done, we can just launch it from here. And this will be Explore File Manager. It's got two panes in there. On the left side, you got your internal shared storage, root if it was rooted, app manager, and some other functions. We're not going to be doing a detailed review of this app. I'm just going to show you different ways how to install or upload files to your device. Now, it depends on what kind of device you have, like the NVIDIA Shield Pro. It's got USB ports in the back, so I can load a thumb drive with all the apps that I want, and then it will show on the left side here. Another way is, depends if you have access to, let's say, Dropbox or Google OneDrive or any other drive like that, like cloud storage, you go to the right side, go under Web Storage, click on there. And in here, we're going to click on Add Server. So you can select Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, whichever one you're using, and log in from there. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you another way. It's called Wi-Fi file sharing. It's got a Wi-Fi server on here that works on your local area, local network. So you can click on it from here where it says Wi-Fi file sharing. They go down to Wi-Fi server and click on there and start it. Or you can when it, go to the middle row where it says Wi-Fi server. And click on here and it enables it right away and it disables it at the same time. Now if we go back to the right side. As you can see here, it gives you an IP address. We're going to take that IP address and go over to our browser and type that in. So let's switch over to our browser. In here, just type that address in and press enter. And this is going to be the screen that you see. On the left side, you got all the folders of your device, subfolders and files on the right side. I'm going to select download folder. That's where I want all the files to upload the from a computer to upload them you need to go over here on the right side with a little blue up arrow select that and the screen pops up and select the folder that you have all your files and just select the files that you want to upload so i'm going to do the downloader app puffin browser you can do as many as you want you can do them all at once you don't have to do one at a time click on open and there they are didn't take that long now, if you uploaded something that is not the right file, you can just select it with a little checkbox over here, and then go to the trash can on the top here and select delete. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, well, that's fine and dandy. It's easy to transform like that, but 
how do you get those files? Where do you find them? Now the Puffin browser, for example, you can find it on APK Pure. You can find it on Aptoid. The downloader app, the same thing. You can get it from App APK Pure. Or if you want, I have a bit.ly link here. We can just type in bit.ly forward slash DL11 2019. So you can see it here. Just press enter and it will download it to your computer right away. Now, once you have the files uploaded, we can move back to our device. Now in here, we're just going to go to the left side again, click on internal storage. We're going to scroll down to the download folder. And there's the two files that we uploaded. We're going to click on downloader. Now, because this is the first time we installed it, we need to go to our settings and enable unknown sources. So go down to explore, click on enable, click back, and then just click on downloader again, and then select install. And that's it. It's done. Now, while you're in here, if you want to delete it from here too, you can long press the OK button, scroll down, click on delete, and OK, and it's out of your device. Usually, I like to download, once I download something and install it, I like to delete them right away. No need to keep on my device, takes up space for no reason. So once you're done, you can go back to your home page. Scroll over to the right, click on the plus sign, and you got the downloader app. And that's it. That's how you get the downloader app or any other app you want to add to your device. From here on, you can launch the downloader app and get file link from there and install more apps through there. But that is the easiest way I've found for now to sideload apps. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I will try to answer everybody's question as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. This is DJ. Till next time. Just me and my